they don't really, you know, I mean, somebody tells right. you that you, they think you look nice and, you know, you know, you just got, got out of bed and you're, you know, <laughs> right. And the color, the, the words is, out of their mouth are green. Nice. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like, that right. doesn't work. So, <laughs> so, how, so th- there is like a skill set to this and, and you do need to recognize that I, I always try and picture it as, all right, I know a little bit more than I should. Mm-hmm. It's like, I got to peek behind the curtain oh, yeah. and I have to keep my mouth closed about that. But sometimes I can, I can avoid an entire, we could avoid an entire situation if I could just say the one thing, yeah. but I've noticed that if I say, oh, I know you're notice you're feeling this way and they weren't prepared for that. Oh, yeah. it is not well received. Yeah, that does happen sometimes. And I think the way I do it sort of in a mediation setting um, is, you know, I, I might say, you know, the tone of what you're saying really, you, you know, you're saying that this isn't bothering you, but what I'm feeling from you is, is different than that. And if you don't want to name that, that's fine, but that's just what I'm feeling from you. I'm feeling that you, um, that makes you angry or that, you, you know, you you don't believe what that person's saying because you have that tone in your voice that sounds a little sarcastic. So I'm wondering what you're thinking about what they're saying because it sounds like you don't believe them. Is that right? You know, just kind of ask those questions in a almost like a backdoor way. Um, you know, instead of saying, um, "Wow, you you just lied right to my face," you know, right. <laughs> just, which is you, which we won't yeah. say. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work out well. Just no. take my word for it. <laughs> so, but how can I make sure that that um, that I that I how can I understand what the other person in the conversation is trying to say to me? How do I know that I am I'm trying to understand? Mm. Um, I what I do, and I do this all the time, is ask a lot of questions. And what it takes is sort of that willingness to put yourself out there and admit that. Um, you might not be getting what the person's saying. So reflecting back what the person has said, um, ask if you're hearing, if, you know, if so this is what I'm hearing, you know, and then you say this. And I can't tell you how many times when I say it that way, the person says, no, no, that's not what I meant. I meant it this way. Um, and it gives them the opportunity to correct you, um, use um, descriptions, um, sort of a, for instance, like, okay, so you're saying this, you know, so if I'm hearing you correctly, I'm hearing that you think that that chipmunk over there is really a prairie dog. Is that right? Um, you know, like just trying to ask the questions that leads them to make, to understand that you're, you are listening, you're trying to listen to understand and you're trying to get, uh, you, you think that what they're saying is important enough that you want to make sure that you get it right. Um, and people don't like to do that. I mean, what you said before was you, you've you got this stuff going on in your head. Somebody's talking. You're thinking about, did I turn off the oven? And um, the person gets it to the end and says, you know what I mean? And you smile and nod your head and go, uh-huh. Um, because we're embarrassed to say, you know, I really kind of zoned out there for a minute. What were you saying again? Um, right. Not, you know, not only does it take more time, but we're afraid that it's going to offend the other person to make them think that we weren't listening, which we kind of weren't. Um, right. And it also sort of puts you on the spot as, you know, like, oh, here I am sort of like dreaming away while this person is trying to talk to me. Um, but the most important thing to do is say, um, you know what, I I don't think I'm understanding what you're saying. Would you mind saying that again? Or can you say it in a different way? Or can I tell you what I said and then you tell me whether I'm right or wrong? Um, And it actually makes the person feel better. Um, We're afraid we're going to offend them, but it's more offensive to just kind of go along and then three days later say, what did I agree to in that conversation? Oh my God, I've got a report due when? (laughs) Right, what? You actually said that to me? Yeah, no, it's... (laughs) <laughs> and it's in, in today's day and, t- day and time with, with the, you know, with like everybody's um, oxidative stress levels being so elevated and, you know, just us being under a great amount of pressure that, 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 you know, and there's a lot of undertowing um, different directions. There's a lot of undertowing what I would perceive as to be anger. Um, I think conversation can communicate communication is super important, especially when it's not being modeled in hardly anywhere for us. You know, yeah. it's like, I'm afraid we're going to go back to hieroglyphics at the rate we're going. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Well, you so. know, what's, what distresses me is how 
um, like you said, there's this undertone all the time of anger and of gotcha. You know, it's kind of mm-hmm. like you're just Wanna. waiting to catch somebody in mm-hmm. a lie or in something that's fake because you don't believe it. You have to label it as something else. And it just really sets people, I think, up not to communicate well. You know, we have these quote unquote influencers on the internet right now, you know, and people who say something and it completely changes. Do you remember when sick meant sick? Like you didn't feel yes. good? Yes, right. Now it means <laughs> awesome. Remember when and you're like, what? No, I'm actually like sick. Like drugs or... Like <laughs> yeah, this. right. All these words change. And I kind of get it because I think young people like to change the language so that they have their own sort of language that the rest of us aren't caught up to I ask my kids all the time to explain stuff to me like what the heck is a Fortnite dance and why is it a thing like you know and then right. my kids say you know same thing only something that at a, an older person I our age would have said to them like what does that mean mom I don't understand the the language because language is so dynamic and it changes so quickly in this age of everything is a 10 second soundbite or, you know, you have to say everything in 140 characters and all of a sudden it's like zip and what just happened there? I don't understand it. And a lot of people are feeling lost in their own culture. You know, we just don't get our culture anymore. And, and, and very quickly, because we have like one minute, what, um, what, um, how can I be the sure to, to under, to listen, to understand um, listen in observation mode, you know, don't listen to, re- to understand rather than to respond and really take your time, listen to what the person has said, reflect it back instead of saying, oh, that person said that. And now I'm going to say this, you know, that's what we do. We listen to respond instead of listening to really get what the person is saying, take your time, you know, ask the questions and, um, you know, make it a one-on-one instead of a, you know, you you talk, then I talk, then you talk, then I talk, and we're not really conversing. We're just saying, spouting things out. Yes, I'm well well versed in that. <laughs> so I appreciate, the, yeah, no, I appreciate this. Thank you so much for um, for to part two of um, listening to understand it. I think it was uh, I think it's good. I think um, we're making some progress. And part three and four will be coming up. Um, it's once a month. So we got, we've got two more months of learning how to effectively communicate. And if we could just, Exciting. you know, spread it to a couple of people, a couple of people, a couple of people, you know, we could, we could make a difference. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> if you want to get a hold of, uh, did you want to say something, Tracy? No, I'm good. good. Okay. Um, if you want to get a hold of Tracy, you can find her at the, her email is the altogether lowercase, the bones speak at gmail.com www.thebonespeak.com, Twitter at, at The Bone Speak, and Facebook, The Bone Speak. And um, you can get a hold of Tracy and she can um, clear up some communication, or you can look at her items that she offers for sale and made from love. And I want to thank you for joining us today on the Mama Bear Cancer Support Podcast on Society Bites Radio, Social Interaction for the Mind, Body, Soul. For more information about Mama Bear or to hear all of the podcasts, please find them on my website at www.mamabearcancercoach.com. I'm your host, Mama Bear Donita. Until next time, thank you for joining Mama Bear Donita.